I'm standing at the grave site of Gracie Watson in the famous Bonaventure Cemetery in Savannah, Georgia. Gracie Watson was just six years old when she died of a fever in 1889. Gracie's parents were the managers of Pulaski House Hotel, being the only child of the Watsons. Their grief caused one of Savannah's most famous monument makers to create this life-size effigy of little Gracie. You'll also notice that there's a fence and a gate around Gracie's grave. And it's one of the very few plots in all of Bonaventure cemeteries that has a gate. People that would come out here in the 1890s and early 1900s and leave little gifts for Gracie. Notice that if you tampered with those gifts, that the statue would shed tears. It created such a calamity in the cemetery, people flocking out here to see this phenomena, that this gate was put into place to keep people from damaging the site. People who come here hoping to find a ghost won't find her here, for Gracie is said to still inhabit the place where the Pulaski Hotel once stood. It's now a bank on Johnson Square. On several occasions, women going into the ladies' room of the bank building would find somebody reaching under the door and stealing their purse. When running out, they would find their purse emptied out on the floor of the ladies' room. The money would be there, but missing might be coins, chewing gum, candy, maybe somebody had fiddled with the lipstick, things the little girl would do. And this happened so many times that finally the bank had to post a notice and tell people, if you go into the ladies' room, ladies, keep your hands on your purse at all times.